Marcus321 here again, back with another video, a quick video this time. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. I'll bring you all kind of rocket related videos, launches, builds, tips, tricks. And I welcome people to leave comments down in the chat on what you're working on, all kinds of stuff. It's kind of open forum over here. As long as you're behaving yourself and everything is cool, I don't have to, you know, have to tick you off and block nothing or do nothing like that. It's kind of cool over here. So, Model Rocks 321 of the channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing. This is from Cedar City, Utah. If you've been in this hobby, you know what company is in Cedar City, Utah. Um, Aerotech. Everybody should know that by now. Aerotech is there and Quest. And I'm in this package with this label on there. You should recognize what this is. Um, especially by the title. By now you already know. But I'm going to do an unboxing of some motors I got. I actually forgot which ones I ordered. So we're going to do this together today. Let's get this open. I think this is, this may be the actual first unboxing I've done on this um, channel. I don't know if I've ever done one. I know I've unveiled some stuff like those ugly duckling rockets, but I don't know if I've ever done a an unboxing. So let me put this knife away since I'm done with that. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, directly from Aerotech slash Quest. We have some peanuts, so let's um, get these out of there like so. Like so. All right. I don't know what, what did I order. What did I get? Okay, so yeah, okay, I got some Q-Jets. Yeah, Q-Jet motors. Yeah, I've been wanting to try these out. So this is some Black Max. This is a B44FJ. So they should have the black smoke. I forget how the flame look, but these are some B motors. Should be pretty powerful to composite. They're using the composite materials, not the black powder. So this, these would be some uh, nice performing motors. Store, store in a sealed, cool, dry location. So thrust you can trust. Got the NAR, Triple E certification stuff there. So that's the first item right there, folks. This is a B44FJ. Let's see what I got next. I've been wanting to try these out, so I'm glad I got some. I actually forgot what I ordered. So here we go now. These are some 18 millimeter D16 4FJ motors. They'll have that black smoke again. Yeah, so pretty cool. Cool. So these are the first two items I'm unveiling. And remember, guys, hit the like button. That helps the video get found by other people. Get it in the algorithm. And if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. If you're checking this out and you like rocket stuff, that's what I do on this channel. Next up, we have some D22 4W White Lightnings. White Lightning is one of my favorite mixtures of motors. So here we go. Q-Jet White Lightning Composite Propellant Model Rocket Motors. Complete launch pack. Brilliant white exhaust plume. Bright white smoke trail. So this should be cool. These are 24 millimeters. Yep, so I'm real happy about these. I can't wait to try these out. These are 24 millimeter D's. This is an 18 millimeter D. So I love what they're doing. I love what they're doing with that. A little more uh, punch. A little more punch than the black powder um, Estes motors, but shout out to Estes. We love Estes. But this is something different that we can play with. So next up, I have an E26 4 with a four second delay. So 24 millimeter E motors and short. Not the longer e motors, so yeah, I think they got some serious power. And these are white lightning, so you know they're gonna um, gonna bring the pain on the rocket field. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, they got a whole line of um, motors. This is cool. I can't cannot wait to try these out. I haven't tried them yet, um, so I guess I ordered these like maybe a week or two ago. They showed up. I they, the the box been here. I knew what it was. I just didn't know. I forgot which motors I ordered. So it's got the B44, D16. E26 and the D22. So nice stuff here to play with. Let's see what else we got packed in here. I see some some literature. Okay. Oh, perfect. I haven't had a new. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I'm glad to have this. So they put their catalog in there. I haven't had an Aerotech catalog in a, in a good while. So model rock model rocket and mid power hobby cat rocket catalog. They got the Q, quick Q rocket on the cover, launch pad. This is kind of like their start starter set. Let's see what else they got in here. And just their line of rockets. It's the stuff that um, Quest has been doing for a while. Now that they're partnered with um, Aerotech, so they're together all one. I guess somebody bought somebody out. I'm guessing Aerotech acquired Quest. I'm not sure if anybody know you can 
Drop that down below, down below. So you got the Novia, the Quick Q, the Astra, the Viper, and the Astra 3 over here. Then we got the Star Hawk, the Bright Hawk, Big Betty, and totally, total, totally tubular. It's almost hard to say. Especially I'm a little, a little tired too, so I've been up, I've been up all day. So yeah, Big Betty is a rocket that's similar to the Big Bertha. And uh, here's the Astra. That's why I guess that would be similar to the Alpha. You know, just entry level stuff. Entry level stuff. So let's move along and see what else we've got. Some kind of paper. Oh, this is my receipt. Let's get that out of there. That's the receipt. And that, whatever dropped out of here is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It dropped out. I'm going to show you that in a minute. So the next page. Here we go. We got some more cool stuff. I love this right here. That's the Planet Probe. I don't know if you saw my saucer launch. I think the video right before this when I launched my saucer on um, the Quest saucer, I think it's the older one, but that's pretty cool right there. So yeah, it's got their Payloader 1, the Triton Next, the Penetrator, the Seeker, Quest America, and over here at the top, we got the Cobalt, the Planet Probe, which is that guy, the Gamma Ray Payloader, and the Superbird. Pretty nice line of rockets. And then we got the Carrier, which is like an Egg Lofter, lo lofter Payload Rocket, Terrier Orion, it's a scale model, I believe it's scale. You got the Striker AGM, which is this missile design rocket right here, and the Harpoon. The Harpoon is a missile. It's been around for a good while. Then here we have the Sport, the Falcon, and the Icarus. This tall blue guy right there. So pretty nice. Nice, nice line of rockets. And then we get to the motors, some stuff which I just showed you. A little collaboration they're doing. This is pretty cool. I mean, I'm glad this is nice. Like these uh, composite motors, they just burn so great. Got that white flame, they got the white lightnings. They this is pretty cool. Hopefully they bring more. They may be, maybe may be able to bring some more um because they have like red lines and stuff too. So for the high power. I'm not sure if the mixture will work in this smaller stuff, but hopefully they bring that um in the near future. So next up we got we're gonna okay, like we're gonna move into the mid power. Yeah, we're gonna move into the mid power stuff. So here we have the initiator. This is the bigger aerotech stuff, the initiator starter set with the mantis launch pad and their launch controller. So this is getting into the um, mid to high power stuff right here. So let's continue on. Oh, no, not yet. I guess not yet. They had the initial. Oh, yeah, we are. Yeah, we're over here. So so here we have mid power rocket designs for E, F, and G size. Yeah, these are. I don't know why I looked at these and I thought that they were um, just some smaller stuff. But yeah, so they're, they're, they're bigger stuff. So we got the big dog. It's a skill level three rocket. Mean green. High Q. And this Minotaur, which is real cool. It's a nice rocket. Here we have the quad runner and um yeah so that's all for those and right here they're showing just their diagram of how theirs work so pretty tough stuff i love aerotech aerotech makes some nice rockets uh Iker, i mean uh, arcus i love the arcus i need to get another one i actually um crashed one years ago i made a silly mistake i had a piece of shroud line inside the between the nose cone and the body tube and it the ejection happened but it wasn't enough to Pushed the cone off and it crashed in Maryland. Some of you may have been at that launch. That was years ago, though. I don't know if you might remember that. Long time ago in Maryland. MDRA launch club on a side farm. So anyway, yeah, back to their kits. This is the HV Arcus. This is the Cheetah, which I have one of those. I have one. Got the Tomahawk here, which is a sounding rocket. That's a scale kit. Then we got the Strong Arm, this guy right here. Astro BD, I love the Astro, B, Astro BD, it's another sounding rocket, research rocket. Um, I have a smaller version of it that I scratch built. And here we have the Sumo, I haven't seen one of these in a long time, so we have the Sumo. So yeah, these are um, Aerotech kits. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to hit that thumb button too, guys. Hit the thumb button and share the video. Put it on uh, some site, share it with a friend, send it to them, text it to them. So here we have more um, Aerotech rockets. So we got the Warthog. These are great rockets. Warhol, you got the Barracuda, the Aero High over here. So that's Aero B High over here, Barracuda, the Initiator, kind of like their entry level rocket. And you're moving into these things. Um, the G Force. And then we have the Aero. And we have the Mustang, which I do have a Mustang. The Mustang right there. Pretty good flyers. And then we're moving into the last page, actually. So we're moving to this final page, just showing how their motors work. Showing their Mantis launch pad, which is pretty cool looking. And we have their launch controller. And yeah, that's the, their Interjet on Biotech. This is their motors, all composite. Kind of similar to the way the SDs work, but a little different. They burn different, burn hotter, I guess, burn whiter, more thrust. 
cool stuff. So I'm glad they put this in there. This is a bonus to the video. Here we have the back page. Yeah, classic, it's this classic Interjet Aerotech. Yeah, it's just on some of their classic motors here. Yep. And some launches out there, high power stuff look, high end mid power actually. The different types of propellants. I got some green right there. I guess this is the red line. Yeah, cool one. There's a green right there. White lightning. Yeah, real cool stuff. Real cool stuff. So yeah, they hooked the catalog up. I'm glad they did that. And what fell out was something very cool. Something cool fell out. It was an Aerotech bumper sticker. So that's nice. I like this. I like this a lot, actually. Nice surprise. They dropped a sticker in there for this purchase. So shout out to Aerotech and Quest. They're all one now. So here's the sticker and the motors I got. So I'll be flying some of these guys. I'm gonna, you will definitely see these in some videos. Can't wait to see how they burn and all that stuff. So it'll be my first time um, flying near these. I've flown Aerotech regular motors, but not any of these Q-Jet ones. So pretty cool. So it's an E26 4W. And I love the white lightning motor, so this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. All right, guys, thanks for checking in on this video. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel one more time. Say it. Like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you on another video. Alright, y'all. Peace.